Hey everyone, Let's Lounge here. In this video, what I want to talk about is actually a different way of using Final Cut Pro. Uh, what you can actually do if you are in the uh, in the realm of starting a podcast or any kind of audio program, if you're not wanting to learn more different you know editors and all this kind of crazy stuff, even though there are some fantastic editors out there, some audio editors. Um, you could actually do it all in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to show you how, to, how you can do that. So I just have a blank project, uh, nothing on it here. So all I'm going to do is go up to my main menu here, and I'm going to go to Window and say Record VoiceOver. Now this is going to bring up a little box, and you can see it's going up and down because I've chosen the microphone right here as far as the input goes to be the mic I'm recording on right now. So if I were to press this button, it's going to start recording what's coming over, you know, coming over my mic. You could also choose uh, the si system mic, the built-in mics, all that kind of stuff. Um, so whatever you have hooked up to your machine, uh, you can choose from there. Uh, but this technique is really meant for using voiceovers to record over your video. So let's say you had a, uh, a project and you want to do a quick voiceover to maybe narrate something. This would be where you can go. You don't have to record it somewhere else and then drag the audio file in. You could actually record it directly into Final Cut Pro. But you could use this for uh, podcasts as well. So I'm just going to record a little bit right here as I'm talking. Uh, it's going to give you a little countdown, which is actually kind of fun and you can start talking you can see right down here it is recording what i'm doing real time as i'm actually doing a screencast as well so this is kind of cool uh, you can take the monitor on and off all that kind of fun stuff uh, really play with these options uh, so i'm going to go ahead and stop this here and you can see this is our audio file so if i were to drag this up now i could use this audio file just like i would any other video editor so you can see we have a black screen up here, nothing's, nothing's recorded as far as video goes. And what's really cool about this is you could do all of your crossfades, you can you know, fade out your audio, that kind of fun stuff. Um, you can uh, go over here and go to your effects panel in Final Cut, I'm sorry, go to your effects panel in Final Cut, go down here to your audio, you can really play with all the audio effects like you normally would do. Uh, when doing video and once you've got it all taken care of oh one more thing you could also do really fun stuff like sound effects you can include all the sound effects that are built into Final Cut Pro don't have to go anywhere else uh, you can really uh, play with those and add those as far as your podcast or even an audiobook recording something like that so once you have gotten this uh, audio all finished what you would basically do is go to your share menu and we're gonna click a main export that we would normally click on for, for audio and we're going to go to our settings and on the format we're going to choose audio only and that's going to generate an m4a file so uh, you could also go down here to computer um, and it'll do a, a mp4 file that'll be a blank screen but you will have audio with it but if you just want the audio portion click audio only and click next choose where you want to save it and there you go you got your audio file very high quality audio file um, so that's a cool way of using Final Cut Pro that you probably didn't think about so uh, whether you want to use a voiceover in your next video or you want to record a straight audio project uh, in Final Cut Pro you can do that uh, as well so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video uh, go over to LutzLounge.com we got more fun tutorials over there some cool LUTs uh, to apply to your videos and some just really cool stuff over there so thank you for joining me in this one I'll catch you in the next video